Floss Tube. My name is Kathy, and my channel is called Crafty Cat Stitcher. This is my very first Floss Tube video. Um, I want to thank everybody who encouraged me to do this, including some Floss Tubers themselves, and just some other stitchers who thought that this would just be a fun thing for me to do. So here I am today, and I'm trying this out, and let's see what happens. I live in Georgia, just north of Atlanta. We've lived here for almost 29 years, and I'm originally from Indiana. Um, I've been stitching for about 35 years, and that's cross-stitching. Um, my mom taught me how to embroider when I was really young, probably about eight or nine, and it was mainly to keep me busy during the summers, and she was really smart because it worked, Cause, and I developed a lifelong love of doing needlework. And so when cross-stitch got popular, or kind of was just getting popular, I bought a book of little borders, and that was all that was in the book, just black and white. And I made my first cross-stitch, just combining some of the borders into a little sampler. And this one, it's supposed to represent the four seasons. I made this for my mom. And she kept this on her dining room wall for years. And now I have it in my house. So, but I really like it. I mean, I just put this together myself. It was amazing. So, back then, that was like 1982 or something. And there were a lot of cross-stitch charts. And I don't think we had an actual dedicated cross-stitch shop anywhere near us. So you have to go into the craft stores and get your supplies, and I just put it together myself, which was fun. It was a lot of fun. And then things started to kind of, like, boom from there in the cross-stitch world. Because at one time, here in Georgia, I actually had about four shops within a less than 20-minute drive from my house, which, and now there are none, which is really sad, but... So we all depend on our online sales, which is great. And um, that's where I get most of my things. Um, I like to stitch all different kinds of things. Um, I also like to do beadwork and jewelry making. And I do some crochet. And I like to sew. And uh, cross stitch is probably number one for me. So um, one of the things I'm working that I just finished is June. And that's the Joyful World series by the Snowflower Diaries. And that's on Facebook. These are all free patterns. Really nice. It's really nice of the designer to provide those. And they're, they're all just so cute. I'm stitching these uh, over one on um, 25 count pearl, Nor Norden Pearl Linen. And I like the way they're coming out so tiny on that. And it fits perfectly in the, in my little 4 by 6 frame. So I can switch them out every month that I have one done. I only have January and June done. But I'm going to start another one soon. And I think it's going to be November. Because maybe I'll just have it done in time for November. That wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> um... One of my other recent finishes is Cardinal Winter by Little House Needleworks. And that turned out really good. And I made it into an ornament. And I used Vana's The Twisted Stitchers finishing technique for a pillow ornament. And I really love the way this turned out. So much fun to do. All of her suggestions really pay off in making it look really good right down to the cording, which I am proud to say that I made for the first time. So I think this one's going to be a gift. We'll see. Um, I like to do my own framing. Um, I get my framing supplies at American Frame online. They have really good instructions for measuring, a lot of different kinds of frames. And yes, it does save quite a bit of money rather ha than having somebody do it, which I will do once in a while if it's a very special thing, especially if it's for a gift. For me, I'll do my own. I've 
had really good luck matching up the colors and choosing the frames to look good. I've just been very lucky that I haven't gotten anything I didn't like. I mean, everything is great. Um, they provide you with anything that you want. You don't want a mat. You don't get a mat. You don't have to get a mat. You don't want plexiglass over it. You don't have to get that either. So they give you everything you need right down to the hardware. So this is, um, it's Quaker Star by Bent Creek, and I finished this a couple of years ago, I think it was, but I just framed it just in time for the 4th, so I don't know where that's going to go, somewhere, I don't know. So, um, whips, yeah, I've got a few. Um, this one is Kaleidoscope by Sheena Rogers. It's a kit. She provides everything you need. To, except for the stuffing for the little cushion, if you want to do it in a little cushion. Um, she gives you backing material and the floss and the fabric, and it's, it's great, and I really, really like it. And it's really funny because I took this out to show you, and I thought, gosh, look at how much I have done on it. I didn't realize I'm at the home stretch. So I think this is going to be one. I'm going to concentrate on doing this one, I think, starting maybe today, get that done. And I'm stitching, I actually changed the fabric out because I wanted to stitch it on even weave. So it's just like a, I think it's 28 count Joblin or Lugana, I'm not sure which, but I really like this. Um, my next one is Rainbow Row by CW Designs. My daughter-in-law and son got me this chart for Christmas, and um, they had gone to Charleston, South Carolina, and saw Rainbow Row and stopped in a shop and got me the chart. And I really like it. It's so pretty. And I was lucky enough to go to Charleston last month and actually see it in person. Never been to Charleston before. So this was a really fun trip. And I started it. It's on, I'm stitching this on 32 count Joblin in ivory. It's got a lot of colors in it. It's going to be a big challenge, big, big piece. The fabric itself is like 36 by 17 or something like that. So it's going to be a labor of love, but I really do like it. And I, I think it's going to be wonderful. When it's done. My third and last major one that I'm working on right now is Tulips Praise by Gracewood Stitches and I really like it. Um, this picture doesn't do it real justice I don't think. I don't, you know what? A lot of pictures don't. Did you ever notice that? I mean it's like and you start stitching, and it's like, oh, it's so much prettier in person. But this is what I've got done on it. And it, it's just the coolest combination of colors. Turquoises, greens, pinks, rose colors. So summery and, and springy and just so pretty. So that's what I'm working on right now. And I, like I said, I will be starting another Joyful World, because I really like the series. I like to have it out in a little frame. And maybe someday, in a couple of years, I'll have all the months done. Wouldn't that be great? Um, the reason I'm calling my channel Crafty Cat Stitcher is because I have a blog called Crafty Cat. And I will post the link below if I can figure out actually how to do that. I'm going to try. And... Um, I've been blogging for about eight years and I really like it. And I noticed that a lot of bloggers are um, giving up their blogs and it's kind of sad in a way because I like reading them too. And I really, especially like writing them and then like putting the photos in and just arranging it and changing my blogs look seasonally. And um, so I'm going to keep it up for a while. So, you know, I would appreciate it if you go and visit. And see what's there. There, you're, you will see other things on there besides cross stitch. You'll see if I sew something or if I do like a 
do a, a jewelry project or something, or crochet, you'll see that on there, or just general craft thing that I did. So there's a lot of different things on there, and um, but I'd be really happy if you would go and visit. Um, I am so pleased to be a part of Floss Tube now, and I, I, I hope to do another video. We'll see how this one turns out. Let me know in comments how I did, and maybe subscribe. That would be really nice. <laughs> Thank you in advance. Um, I, I hope to be back and talk about other, some other things. I really like Floss Tube. I like seeing what everybody's doing. Let me tell you a secret. I didn't know what Floss Tube was till about eight months ago, and a video just kind of popped up on my YouTube selection. And I thought, look how nice. There was a stitcher, and she's showing what she's stitching. And this so, it's how cool is that? That's so much fun. And I thought, oh, it's not just some stitchers doing this. It's a whole bunch of stitchers doing this. And no, I'm never going to do that. So, and here I am. And one of the things I'm really, really impressed about is the number of young people that are stitching. And by young, I mean like in their 20s. And I had heard once that cross stitch was a quote unquote dying art and it was an old people's craft. And you, you hear that once in a while. And you know what? Anymore, that's just simply not true. They're, the charts that are coming out are so, I, you know, there's there's so many cool things that people can stitch. It's not just all flowers and samplers now, which nothing wrong with that. I mean, I love my sampler. Um, there's all kinds of things people can stitch. And I think young people are seeing that and they're realizing what a really cool hobby stitching is. And, you know, and we all know that. We all, sometimes you just can't describe why, but it's true. So um, I just love seeing that. And so I will keep looking at other people's videos and I hope you look at mine again and, and I hope to be back. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I'm gonna keep it a little bit short today and um, hopefully I'll be back soon. Thanks, have a great week. Bye-bye.